February 15th, news you can use. Uh, we have sim training going on right now. We had our first one February 14th yesterday. The next one's February 20th, February 26th, and March 4th. Uh, aside from that, on April 2nd, we have our all staff meeting. We also plan on doing an all staff photo that day, weather uh, depending. If that changes, we'll let you guys know. Also like to congratulate Greg Dunn on his five years of service with CHS. So congratulations, Greg. Attached to this week's news you can use, you'll find a report that Steve Ledoux has on our charting errors. Uh, so take a look at that and see where we're at. The traffic light button in the garage is working properly. It does not need to be slammed. It just needs to be held in gently for three to five seconds. So no button crushing when you guys are out there. Just gently press it, hold for three seconds, and it takes about 35 to 45 seconds to initiate a change. There's also an application attached to this news you can use for the Regional Patient Safety Committee. Uh, they're looking for nurses and physicians to not only investigate individual patient safety and quality assurance concerns, but regional trends as well. Our shirts are going to be picked up every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from here on out. So starting on 218, Miss Kim will be picking those up Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Chief Busey is working on eliminating the odor that's coming out of the rigs. Uh, it seems to be more potent when the heat is turned on, so we're working on getting rid of that. We're also looking into getting storage coolers in the outside compartments of those rigs for personal use. If you haven't noticed the construction going on upstairs on the north end of the, of the building where the bedrooms were, uh, that construction is happening so that we can make space for billing to return to headquarters. So that area is going to be dedicated for our billing office, PSRM people. We are currently putting out two job postings for a vehicle service technician as well as a manager of EMS operations. Uh, and we are always looking for per diem BLS and ALS provider. The Monroe County Medical Examiner released a report on the 2018 locally related deaths to heroin, opioids, fentanyl, or other related substances. So check that out, it's attached to this week's news. You, can... you may also notice that the Henrietta C time slot will start at 6.30 and go till 17.30, as well as the Henrietta C overnight is 17.30 to 6.30. So be aware of that when you're looking at the schedules for pay periods six and seven. That's it for this week. Make it a great week, guys.